friends. In this video, I will present you about Spanish Mastiff versus Tibetan Mastiff, better family guard dogs. Let's jump on it. Temperament. The Spanish Mastiff is a very intelligent dog, not without beauty, whose expression manifests both these qualities. Rustic, affectionate, kind and noble, he is very determined when facing dangerous animals and in front of strangers, especially when he has the opportunity to defend and protect farms or cattle. On the other side, watchful, aloof, imposing and intimidating, the ancient Tibetan Mastiff is the guardian dog supreme. These densely coated giants are mellow and calm around the house, sweetly devoted to family and aloof and territorial with strangers. Muscularity as a typical molossus, it has a strong and muscular body. It is certainly also very large and heavy. Large muscles are attached to strong thick bones. The Spanish Mastiff also has a very impressive head, equipped with a large mouth, decorated with a distinct hanging dewlap. Whereas, the Tibetan Mastiff is a large dog with an imposing appearance. This breed typically weighs over 100 pounds, is muscular, and has a large broad head. The Tibetan Mastiffs are a strong dog breed with a lion-like mane. Tibetan Mastiffs are large, agile and strong dogs with an attractive coat of hair near their neck that looks like a lion's mane. Bite Force Spanish Mastiffs are very protective of themselves and their families. Therefore, a dog bite from them could be exceptionally dangerous with their PSI being above 400. On the other hand, the Tibetan Mastiff is a large muscular dog originally bred in the Himalayan mountains of Tibet. The Mastiff does have a bite force of 552 PSI, so it's important not to anger the dog or have it around strangers until it is fully trained. Child-friendly, a breed's level of tolerance and patience with children's behavior and overall family-friendly nature. Dogs should always be supervised around young children or children of any age who have little exposure to dogs. Whereas, with lots of socialization, Tibetan Mastiffs can be taught to get along well with kids and other pets, especially if they are raised with them. But due to their sheer size and strength, they should always be supervised when playing with small children or other dogs. Grooming needs The Spanish Mastiff's coat requires a moderate amount of grooming. He needs to be brushed a couple of times a week and should get an occasional bath. He's also a regular shedder. They shed a lot. These dogs have dense double coats, which they shed twice a year in the spring and the fall. If you are looking for a hypoallergenic pet, consider another breed. On the other hand, they have a low maintenance coat that requires minimal grooming during the majority of the year. A weekly brushing with a slicker or long pin brush to remove surface dirt and the use of a white tooth comb on the tail, mane and breeches to remove tangles are all that is required. Exercise needs they need about 30 to 45 minutes of physical activity every day, Wickfall says. But keep walks to the morning and evening during the summer as Spanish Mastiffs can suffer heat stroke because of their size and coat thickness, she says. Whereas, Tibetan Mastiff will need a minimum of an hour of exercise every day. We would recommend splitting this into two or three walks with some off-lead play in a secure area. On top of this, Tibetan Mastiffs need plenty to keep their brains active. So who is the winner? Please choose your winner by commenting below. Thanks for watching this video. You are invited to watch more videos and subscribe to our channel for more updates. Thank you.